<clears throat> I'm sad. <laughs> this feels so dramatic, which is why I'm laughing, y'all. I cannot take this serious. I cannot take this serious. Okay, hold on. I am no longer in a relationship. Um, me and the Lord are still locked in. We're like this, but I'm single. I just got up this morning. I'm in New York. This is very rare for me to like make this type of video, but this is a video I've been planning to make and I appreciate everybody giving me the time to address it when I saw fit. Typically, I don't address anything, but I didn't want to go into the new year in a relationship, so I definitely don't want to have people thinking that I'm in a relationship when I go into the new year. So I just wanna, you know, wipe my hands clean of it. I'm making this video for me and for Donovan, to be honest. Like, he can go into the new year as a single man. I was just getting ready, so I said alarm because I knew this was gonna happen. I'm doing a little daytime type thing. So I high key, I might not even do anything crazy because yeah, while our romantic relationship is over, platonically, Donovan literally was like my best friend, right? And like things like concerts and stuff were already planned. But literally y'all saw us at the Beyonce concert. <laughs> like anything I'm gonna put up, if it's not clear, is gonna be like genuine interactions that I have with people. If I feel like it's not genuine and I feel like the vibe is off, I simply will not post it. Even when we were together, it never gave like putting on for the camera. Like he didn't turn on some like YouTube boyfriend personality. I didn't ask him to do that. I'm just not like a fake person. So all that type of stuff was genuine because again, we built like a great friendship. We weren't together that long for no reason. I have nothing negative to say. I learned a lot in that relationship which I'm so happy about. There's a, not a lot of good people in the world. And I know that some people are probably like, what if you're saying these types of things, then why aren't y'all, you know, there's some things we'll just never understand. <laughs> and there's some things that is not for everybody to understand. And if you feel like I talk in circles and you feel like I don't ever finish a thought, well, ring around the rosy bit. No bad blood. Wish him nothing but the best. Like, genuinely. The energy shift is something I knew I needed. And I feel like a lot of y'all can, like, feel it. And I know it's probably shocking because I feel like most of the time when people see like these types of videos, we broke up videos, it has a very dark undertone. Somebody did something to somebody and it was just none of that. And I haven't had a dark undertone. I wasn't gonna come on here and pretend to have a deep dark undertone about it because life simply moves on. Like, let's be so freaking for real. I know for a lot of people, it can be shocking to see somebody go through a breakup and handle it so well, I guess, and like still be able to smile and laugh and not be in like a corner sobbing. But since y'all don't know me in real life, let me explain. I get over stuff extremely fast. Anybody that knows me knows this, like even Jay the other day, she was like, I wasn't even worried about you because, <laughs> and she's seen me go through so many different relationships, talking phases, situations, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you always get over stuff so fast. Like, she's like, I don't know how you do it, but that's just how I've been. So I'm just trying to let y'all in a little bit. If I wasn't good, I would not come on camera. Like, again, I'm not gonna fake anything. So if I'm not good, I would rather not record myself and not post than come on camera and pretend to be good. That's crazy. I'm not doing that. I just never been like that, bro. Like even when we broke up, I was around people consistently for like four weeks before I told them that me and him had broken up and they were like, you're going through a breakup right now? They were shock in shock. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh my God, like how are you, how are you breathing? And I was like, girl, it ain't never been that serious. And that's just how I am with everybody. You know how some people, they'll cut their friend off before they cut a dude off. Nobody gets a pass with me. I treat everybody the same. Let me think, let me process my thoughts and I'll have a script. Let me see what else I wanted to say. Um, I don't know. I wanted to make a 
its own separate video but I didn't really have a lot that I plan to say other than the fact that we broke up because obviously I am not getting into the details of our relationship I think that method there could help a lot of people process their own personal emotions before they come like spilling it to everybody and I mean that's even in your personal life like allow yourself to feel whatever you're gonna feel before you go telling everybody the news, the tea, debriefing on a situation, because now you can't even remember what you really even thought and how you really even felt. And you're getting all these different opinions coming in and you haven't even allowed yourself to process your own personal thoughts. So it's like, I would never put myself in a situation in personal or on social media where I wasn't able to like process my own personal thoughts, think through the situation, before talking about it. Just because we do things differently doesn't mean that I'm doing it wrong. And that goes for any situation. Just because I don't like the way you did something doesn't mean you did it wrong. It's just, we just we just do stuff different and that's cool. Like it's fine. We're human beings and we're all different, right? I've been doing a new little eyeliner where it's like my wing, but it's like, and it's just real messy. Like, I don't have to try too hard. I'm about to do that right now. Oh, also, I do want to say, I'm very unserious. Again, we've seen this. So, sometimes when I say things, y'all might think it's pertaining to Donovan. It is, in fact, not. I just, I am just so funny. Like, so, if I call somebody, if I say, I would rather be single than be with an ain't, I'm genuinely speaking generally like it's a it's just a general statement because i know a lot of people they would rather lay up with a situation shit when it's like lord have mercy the worst person in life than be solo dolo on christmas i'm just trying to be a general girly now because now i can be general because i'm single so i really might say some crazy stuff i want y'all to remember every time i say something i want you to remember it's not about him because I don't have like one bad thing to say. So right now we are speaking generally. We're not speaking about my situation. But anyways, so yeah, maybe this can turn into how to get over a n First off, I'm an out of sight, out of mind type of person. To be honest, I don't allow myself to be upset for long. And some people may be like, that's not good, Amber. You need to blah, blah, blah. It works for me. For example, if I'm upset about something, I give myself a good day. Move on. Get over it. It, it Literally a day, if not a few hours. And I'm like, all right, it's cool. For example, this only got nothing to do with relationships. The day before I got here, <laughs> somebody hit and ran my car. Bro, somebody hit me. I was driving. The hit me, kept going, did not stop. For a second, I was like, uh, for one, I was in shock. <laughs> because who does that? I mean, I immediately called my mama and well, I called like 911, of course, but then I called my mama and I was like, bro. And of course I was like, what? Literally a few hours later, for one, I keep forgetting it happened until I see my car, which I've only seen my car a couple times since it happened because I literally had a flight that next morning. But I keep forgetting it happened and I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody hit my car. I was probably like in like, this is so stupid mode for about, a couple if a couple hours and then i was like oh well it's literally nothing i can do about it so i have a flight the next morning it'll get resolved karma's gonna get you hope you're watching <laughs> you're probably not because oh my god but oh god is gonna take care of her so there's nothing i can do about it so problem solved i'll get my car fixed of course that's something i worry about whenever i get home and i moved on that's like how i am about a lot of stuff so girlies Girly pops, let's sit down. So let's say we're getting over a man, right? Be upset, rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? Stalk that social media for the last time. Give yourself a time, a timeline. You gonna say, all right, when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not looking at nothing else this man posts. I'm not doing nothing else. Out of sight, out of mind, like, but the thing is, we're not going as far as to blocking them. 
Oh no. I don't block men. I never block men. Why would I block a man when I know he's gonna circle back and I'm gonna be over him? And then I get to laugh and kiki about it to my, with my friends. I would never take that opportunity away from myself because also I take pride in the fact that I am going to get over you without having to use all these different tactics. Block him, block him girl because you don't have no self-control and you're going to respond. No, I'm going to I'm gonna revel in the fact that, that I'm going to get over you with my own willpower and I'll be fine at the end of the day. Um, give yourself a day, a couple hours to be sad, you know, cry in your little corner, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to be like, all right, today, tomorrow's a new day. I'm going to wake up and it's gonna be all good. And it may not be all good, but you gotta continue to live your life because they live in theirs, everybody else is living theirs, and life just simply moves on. Have some self-control. You don't even have to block them to stop looking. Just don't look at their stuff. Or, I mean, if you do wanna unfollow them so you don't, but you ain't gotta block them. Just like unfollow them, you don't see their stuff. You almost don't exist anymore, and that's a start. Get them out of your headspace. Another thing, especially these days with TikTok, oh my God. Anytime a relationship video pops up, girl, not interested. I don't subject myself to that content. I always click not, interest, not interested or swipe. How to get a man, how to make yourself better for a man. Ooh, how to know if he likes you, girl. Not interested. So my feed, for the most part, if any of that type of stuff pops up, it's stuff that's just gonna make me like roll on the floor laughing. All that tarot reading stuff. <laughs> Girl, if you don't get that off your page, cause it's not helping. It's not helping you. It's making it worse. I don't subject myself to that type of content because out of sight, out of mind. I'm not thinking about a man. I'm not thinking about a man. It's okay, baby. So basically, I allow myself to think about a man when my brain just naturally thinks it. But if all I'm seeing constantly is something about a man, of course you're gonna relate it to whoever your most recent situation was, which is in turn gonna make you think about that person, which is in turn gonna make you get all in your feelings and blah, 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 blah. And now look at you, reaching out. So yeah, that's probably one of the main things. But yeah, and also, I really, I, I really value myself, right? So like, I think a lot of times when people get out of relationships, they immediately go to like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? What could I have done better? You know, and maybe that's a good thought process. I just be like, I know I have a lot of great qualities and I can't imagine somebody like not being interested in me. Now I'm not saying that in like a cocky way, like every single person I meet is gonna be interested in me. I'm just saying like, I just know I have a lot of great qualities. So I'm not gonna get stuck on the fact that my great qualities may have not meshed with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Like everybody don't go together, but somebody in the world will be, you know, and if not, I will circle the block. <laughs> um, I will circle, I will indeed circle the block. Um, hi, happy birthday. Um, Merry Christmas. Did you know today was Black Friday? <laughs> Instagram your cousin just turned seven tell them happy birthday for me um circle that block baby uh, <laughs> no no don't do that this is how to get over a man this is how to get over anybody I'm, I'm joking what was I talking about oh I have a lot of great qualities so whether it vibe with that person, it'll vibe with somebody else. So moving right along, it's fine, no worries. Don't allow yourself to get so wrapped up in somebody else that you forget who you are, baby. Like, come on, let's not do that. We don't wanna do that. Also, I want y'all to remember, this isn't necessarily a good thing, but I tell people this all the time because it's like 100% a fact. Men always come back. 
So whether you want them back or not, just think about that. So if somebody just missed out on you and they don't wanna be with you no more, blah, blah, blah. Just remember, girlfriend, he'll be back. By the time he comes back, you're not gonna want him anymore. So I want you to look forward to future you being in your right mind. But there's a thought. If that helps you sleep at night, makes you feel better, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what we wearing, what we wearing? Anyways, okay, next thing. How to get over a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I'm walking down these New York streets, now last, yesterday I was getting, you know, you know how they be. What, what was it? Somebody said something. It just really cracked me up. I have a headphones in, so of course I just pretend like I'm here, but I don't know. He, he was like, you heard me? I was like, I don't know, I kinda did. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> so, pants. But I kinda like when it gets a little bit. It's like, you see how teeny that waist is? The pants is too big. Like, I don't want a major gap. But a little gap, it just boosts your confidence just a, just a little bit. She's super thick, she's super pretty. But yeah, in conclusion, yeah, um, excited for the journey. Am I scared? I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm not scared, but obviously this is like a big change, y'all. Again, also I think, you know, just being comfortable in a situation, if you're trying to get over somebody, allow yourself the opportunity to get over them, right? Don't get comfortable in only, I haven't been wearing, I need to do my eyelashes, but I don't feel like it because I know I'm gonna do it later when I go out. So I kind of just, I really wish I had glasses for today. But yeah, allow yourself the opportunity to explore, like if you're going to actually go through a breakup, like go through the breakup. Like there's gonna be tests, it's gonna definitely test your patience, but just like it took you time to know that person, it'll take you time to know the next person. But you'll never get the time to know the next person if you only allow yourself to stay comfortable with what you already know. But clearly, if you and what you already know have come to an end, something's something's not right there. But you gotta give yourself the time to really think about the decision you made or that they made if it wasn't in your control. Think about what was wrong and enjoy your enjoy yourself, enjoy your own company. I think for me that's like that's been the easiest part because I do enjoy my own company. I do enjoy being by myself. Of course, I enjoy being around people as well, but it's not gonna like make or break my day being by myself. Like I don't get by myself and say like, oh, let's hit up so-and-so or, oh my gosh, like, will I hit people up? Sure, but it's not because I don't enjoy myself. Make sure you always enjoy yourself. If you're, hanging out with somebody else, make sure you're hanging out with them because you also just, you simply enjoy them. Not because you don't enjoy yourself so much or being in alone that you have to be around somebody else. So yeah, this story has come to an end. I did share parts of my previous relationship, but I also didn't share a lot of parts. I stopped sharing like any of my relationships with really anybody a long time ago. Basically once I moved in. The last big significant moment I think I shared was the fact that I moved in with him. So the next thing was that I moved out. I think that lines up pretty perfectly. Also going back to me not being like a sad person and not allowing myself to be in my feelings too long especially is the fact that we all have our life and we all have our little story to tell. There was a piece of my hair that was bent earlier and I need to know where it's at. And when somebody reads, oh, it's 12, see? 
See, that's why I had that. I'm a, oh, also, I'm an on-time type of girly, so that's the type of stuff I make sure I do when I need to be somewhere. Like, I hate to be late. Being late, if you ain't early, honestly, you, you ain't on time. But I hate being late, so stuff like that just keeps me on track. If I start getting carried away, like right now, I'm doing a lot of talking, I'm vlogging and stuff, it's easy for me to get distracted, but if I know, you know. But when somebody reads the book of Amber Martin, the non-existent book. I want there to be paragraphs about times where I may not have felt my best. Paragraphs is actually pushing it. Maybe a paragraph. I don't want there to be chapters. I don't want to sit here and wait until I wait till 2024 to get out of my feelings. Wrap that shit up, twin. You can do it. You a bad bitch. I don't care who this is. I don't care. You got it, babe. So yeah. And I'm gonna end on that philosophical ass note. Cause that, that might have just been a bar. Hold on. If there's any type of content y'all wanna see from me in the future, then let me know if you've been enjoying the Living Alone series. Let me know. But yeah, I'm in New York. I'm about to head out here in a second. I'm taking y'all around with my daytime activities. Then tune in to the vlog. It'll be a part of my next vlog. But yes, thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for listening to me chit chat. Again, I appreciate the patience and y'all just vibing out with me. I didn't have to post a video, but I wanted to post a video. So yes. I will see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for watching this one. Um, but yes. And I'm single. And I'm single. And I, and I, wait, I gotta lose this music. Also, I'm a sad ass bitch, like, not in actuality, but like, I am like a lover girl type thing, you know? So I always listen to, sad slow music that's just who I am even if I'm like perfectly in a perfectly healthy relationship that's just like the type of music I like to listen to but this this one's for you this one's for you this one's for you and again this don't I don't even feel this way but we can't act like Drake doesn't release bar after bar huh this ain't got nothing to do with my ex right <laughs> my ex that sounds crazy I can say it out loud this ain't got nothing to do with my ex October was all about me cause your turn should have been over. <laughs> Gift giver month and now you want to rekindle. I, woo. General, general, general. I'm trying to be relatable. Y'all immediately, I know where your brain went. See you. But anyways, I'm about to go out on the streets of New York and walk around like. Yeah. I'm telling them why.